So, we are at the start for the Princess Royal Challenge Cup for women's single skulls. It's the international standard event. And on the far side of your picture is Georgia Mianzro from Australia. And uh, on this side of the pitch of the course, the right-hand side of your picture, closest to the island, is Diana Dimchenko, formerly of Ukraine, now sculling for Azerbaijan. I don't know why, but I know she lives in Italy. And if you can get your head around all of those connotations... Yeah, with everything that's going on these days, just, just got to find somewhere to be happy, hasn't she? So the scholar here from Sydney University, she was third in the lightweight singles in the New South Wales Championships this year. Uh, and Dimachenko, her, her record is, I think it was the 2018 European. She was a silver medalist in Glasgow. Yeah, Diana Dimchenko's had some decent results, you know. She's, uh, she won the World Cup in Saudi, World Cup three in the Olympic year. She didn't go to the Olympic Games, but she won that World Cup from Sophie Sau of the Netherlands in a race that Lola Anderson, the British scholar doing so well now, was third. And she took gold at the Pierre de Luca regatta, which is an early season regatta early this year. She's going to race on the Rotse next week, and she's been a selected crew here. Those very distinctive Azerbaijani blades that uh, Dimchenko is rowing with. She's a seeded sculler, so the stewards think she's going to go far in this contest. I think they're particularly selected, not seeded, didn't they say? Oh, naughty, yeah, I should have said selected, shouldn't I? But still here on the left, on the right hand side, the Australian, Australian sculler still in the attack here and if you see martin here the conditions are the small boats there it's thank god as they're racing today and not the last couple of days yeah the andro is 29 years of age she was born in britain she's got an aussie mum she relocated to australia when she was 19 and sculled in australian international lightweight crew she was in the lightweight quad in sarasota that finished second behind italy got a silver medal so she's a seasoned international she's rode twice for Australia in the world championships but I guess it's a matchup it's between the lightweight sculler on the one side the right of your picture and the open heavyweight sculler on the left hand side Diana Dimchenko yeah and it's kind of easy isn't it, to dismiss the smaller sculler and think well the single is a power event and that these bigger athletes dominate but we've seen here at Henley time and time again the smaller athletes the tenacious athletes can do some damage against the bigger athletes yeah, Dimchenko hasn't had time to close it down yet. She's still racing pretty flat out, and uh, she will be used to these swelly conditions, I think, on the water. Just that lead that she's got over Georgia Miazro from Australia, just allowing Dimchenko just to have a little more time, just take the sort of waves and the swell in her stride. You say the gap that Jimchenko has at the moment is probably not enough to be relaxed. She still needs to be on it if anything can happen. If she had another length, then she'd be in a position to relax. Here we've got the Australian scholar really close to the boobs, having to have a look and stay off there. And the Azerbaijani scholar seeing her Azerbaijani AZE on the back of her one-piece suit. Is that Hudson she's sculling in, eighth? Yeah, that's a Hudson. It's a carbon ring, carbon wing Hudson single skull. So that's a Canadian brand. Yeah. And what would induce an Azerbaijani scholar who lives in Italy, who has skull for the Ukraine, to go for a Hudson boat? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe she may have borrowed it while she's been here. There may have been that she didn't bring her own single over here. It may have gone straight to Lucerne, and she's borrowed a boat for this this weekend. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, now she's got a comfortable lead now, three lengths clear water. And is there any hope in this race for the Enzero? I think at this point, probably not. The other athlete's just too strong. Mianzaro here sculling well and actually generating a good boat speed. Here you, can, you can see the difference here. She has an aluminium rigger. Yeah, what's the difference between an aluminium rigger and a carbon rigger? I mean, what would the athlete feel? I the think the, the carbon the rigger will be stiffer and um, less forgiving, so you need to be better technically. The aluminium rigger would be a little bit heavier as well, perhaps. I think it's a preference. Sometimes the athletes like to have the softer rigger because it means they can feel the boat a bit better. And some of the other ones just like they don't want to waste any energy and they want the stiffest thing they can have. So it's a bit of a preference. I don't think either of them is better than the other. So we have, what, something like 500 metres less to race on this rainy Thursday morning, the third day of Henley Royal Regatta. This is the first day of competition, though, for the Princess Royal Challenge Cup for Open Women's Single Skulls. You're listening to me, Martin Cross and Adrian Cassidy talking you through this opening heat. 
So as much as it's not very nice for the spectators, you can see all the umbrellas in the rain. For the athletes, actually, this kind of rain is amazing. It flattens the water down, doesn't it? It makes it much more easy to yeah, deal with. Yeah, and, and just, do the athletes have any trouble in terms of holding their, their grips? Because they've got this kind of um, plastic or rubber grips on the blade. Does that make it difficult, more difficult for them to get a grip on those blades? I don't know, I think if you keep them clean, in this kind of rain, no. I think if you have torrential rain, there's definitely an issue with that when they get absolutely soaked. But here, it's mostly covered by the hand anyway, so the rain doesn't get on the handles very much. Um, and they're sweating on them anyway. But this kind of weather, is, the temperature is very nice for racing, the wind isn't too bad, and the water's been flattened down by the rain, so they'll actually be quite enjoying it. Well, particularly Dimachenko will be really enjoying it, sculling down here. Well, waiting ahead for Diana Dimchenko, at, uh, should she progress through this competition is the Olympic champion from New Zealand Emma Twig who is entered I think Emma Twig is sculling today yeah later on today she Opens is her account yeah yeah the New Zealand women uh, her and the women's pair have been training up at Ely in Cambridge because Grace Prendergast would be doing the boat race oh they've gone Emma, to Ely yes yeah, so they came up to Ely so Grace was training with Kerry and actually when next tomorrow when Grace and Kerry race it'll be their first race since the Olympics when they won the Olympic gold medal and the pair um, and Emma Twig again will be her first major race since the Olympics. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, Caroline Florein, the young Dutch scholar, the 24-year-old, has been uh, dominating the World Cup scene in Belgrade and Poznan, the first two World Cups this season. And She's uh, come out of the two-seat of the Coxes Four, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. And I would have thought that uh, Florein might have the beating of Dimchenko. Uh, she won't race Dimchenko, the Rots say, actually. The Dutch team aren't racing there. Too much racing for them if they do the Europeans in Munich. And also Emma's doing a double, the Rotse. She's doing a single here and she's racing the double when we go to the Rotse. Yeah, I saw that doubling up. It's an interesting prospect. So we are in the closing stages of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Diana Dimchenko of Azerbaijan. She's managed to take it a little bit more easy. And... Uh, Georgia Miantaro of Australia. She's battled all the way down the former international lightweight sculler. Great to see her here at Henley Regatta racing in the Princess Royal. But uh, I can see them ahead now. Just about five strokes. Dimchenko's got the line. It'll be relatively easy for her in the last part of the race. Diana Dimchenko takes this heat at the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. And Georgie Miansaro from Australia has to settle for second place.